we got to make sure you know that weight loss is not a calorie in, calorie out situation. Weight loss is a hormonal issue. So if we want to be able to lose weight permanently, we have to put our hormonal lens glasses on. We got to look at this through the hormonal map. And there is a foundational idea around hormones that does not get enough credit. You will be in hormonal disarray and dysfunction if you are low in vitamin D. Vitamin D is massively important to be able to make hormones, to be able to regulate hormones. It is one of the most important markers on your blood test. And you want your vitamin D for hormonal health to be up around 70. So go look at that lab work that your, your primary physician did and go and look at where your vitamin D levels are. Because if they're under 70, that could be the reason why you can't get insulin under control. Now, the piece I want to talk about for this, vi this video and podcast is that how do you get your vitamin D levels up? And there are really only three ways to get vitamin D up. It's one of these interesting ones, which is why so many people are deficient in it. You either get it up through the sun, you get it up through fish, sardines. So sun, sardines, the three S's, or supplementation. I want to talk about how you get the free version, which is the sun. And for this video, I want you to know that the most important time to get sun for being able to raise vitamin D and for being able to shed weight is direct sunlight early morning. So here's what it looks like. You go outside for 10 minutes early morning, exposing as much skin as possible. So if you have a backyard that you can go, you know, in your birthday suit, you know, and it's warm enough to go outside and you're not going to disrupt anything in the neighborhood, go out 10 minutes first thing in the morning in your birthday suit, getting all that direct exposure to sun. And you're going to not only raise your vitamin D, but your eyes have receptor sites in them for serotonin. So you're going to start to get your serotonin receptor sites to start to uh, stimulate more serotonin production, which makes you happy. But also you're rebalancing your circadian rhythm, which is also really important for weight loss. So this morning, 10 minutes in the morning is really important with as much skin um, exposure as possible. I give you like, try a 30 day challenge of 10 minutes in the morning out in the sun and see what happens to that stubborn belly fat. But you know, more than just belly fat, the stubborn fat. Now, what we know about vitamin D is it's a huge regulator of your metabolism. It also is incredibly important for detoxing and brain function and cardiovascular health. And it has literally over a thousand different processes in your body that it controls. And without vitamin D, over a thousand processes go down. And the problem about making vitamin D from sunlight is most of us don't get enough sunlight. We've been totally given this massive fear that we are going to get skin cancer just by going out into the sun. If you go early in the morning, you're still getting enough sunlight to be able to convert that sun into vitamin D without having getting a sunburn, without getting the adverse affections of sun. And most of us aren't getting enough sunlight. So it's interesting because our skin cells have receptors on them that will soak up the UV light from sun and synthesize this into vitamin D. And our ancestors knew this. They didn't have any vitamin D uh, problems. But right now, according to the Journal of Exposure Science and Epidemiology, they found that most Americans that spend 92% of their day either indoors or in the car. So we are not getting out enough into the sun. So make it part of your morning routine. 
We also have information on the, from the Journal of Nutrition Research that found out that 42% of Americans are clinically deficient in vitamin D. Now, how vitamin D outside of helping you become insulin sensitive, what we have also found through research, and this one was really interesting. This is the American Journal of Clinical nu uh, Nutrition. It's a 2014 study found that women, we got a women st woman study, that women who took a vitamin D supplement daily for a year lost an average of seven pounds more than women who took a placebo. We also have another study, a 2012 study from the Journal of Women's Health that looked at over 4,700 postmenopausal women and they found that adequate vitamin D levels was strongly correlated, a strong predictor of healthy body weight compared to low vitamin D. So this study looked at 4,700 women and it said women with high amounts of vitamin D had better healthy body weight than women who had low amounts of vitamin D. They had a, more of a weight gain problem. Think about that for a moment. So you can supplement, you can do sardines, but I really love this idea of going out into the sun. Now, when you are out in the sun, again, skin exposure matters. You also can just do it with a tank top and shorts and you really want the largest body parts. So make sure your arms, your legs are exposed, the more skin exposed as possible. And what's also very interesting is that the speed of vitamin D synthesis depends on how much melanin is in your skin. And the darker you, your skin, the more melanin you have. So if you're very pale, if you have a very light skin, 10 minutes in the sun is enough. In the morning, get in, get out, you'll be fine. But if you have darker skin, you're probably gonna need to do about 20 to 30 minutes in the sun.